Hi, this tutorial is going to teach you how to use the accordion stencil. Let's just click on our page to begin. I'm just going to grab the accordion stencil and drag it in here. And as you can see, it says frame contains no target. That's because the accordion stencil functions basically in that it will give a preview of whatever page you specify as a target. We're going to go ahead and make a second page that we can use as our target. I'm just going to go up here, click Create Page. Now I'm going to resize this page to about 400 by 1000 so that it fits easier in that preview. You can of course leave it as the default size, but for simulation purposes I'm just deciding to make it a little bit smaller. I'm just going to drag in some stencils here to differentiate it. Oh. Make that a little bit center. And that and maybe a button. Let's do a button right there. Okay, let's go back to our first page through the breadcrumbs navigation. We're just going to double click on it. And as you can see, we have headline one, headline two, and headline three. If you want to add a fourth one, you can just type in headline four. To link these, you can simply highlight the entry that you would like and then click on choose to insert a link in this drop down here. We're going to select my page 2. Okay. Now as you can see it says frame contains my page 2 and here's the headline 4 that we wrote in. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that I can show the preview a little bit better. Now let's go up and simulate it. And there you go. This is the preview of page 2. Now we can scroll down. If we had had more on that page, we would have been able to display the entire thing. So say you had a website that was for apps. Then you would be able to change this headline perhaps to gaming apps, and then headline two to workspace apps, or, and so forth. Now, depending upon what your website exactly was, you could even show the individual apps here on this page. Just use your imagination and I'm sure you'll be able to use it in your prototypes. Thank you for watching and if you need more information about other cool things that you can do with Podoco, go ahead and take a look at our website at podoco.com. Until next time, happy prototyping.